Are you wanting to improve the picture quality on your next projection install? Be sure to stick around as I run through some of the quick picture settings to get your projector's image looking great in just a few minutes. Hey, I'm Russell with Sony. In this video, I'll be running through some of the basic picture adjustments, and this is gonna help show you what you need to adjust to ensure that you and your client are getting the most out of your Sony projector. All right, so we've got our projector turned on, and we are going to hit the menu button on the Sony remote, and that's gonna bring up our uh, main menu. The first box is our picture settings, and that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. So if we scroll over to the right, uh, we'll notice it says calibrated presets, uh, in parentheses HDR. You're gonna wanna do this twice. Uh, I recommend setting up your picture presets for your HDR content, and then also doing your SDR content. Uh, when you are watching an SDR source, uh, the HDR in parentheses is not there. It just says calibrated preset. But uh, the presets are pretty self-explanatory. You've got different picture modes. Right out of the box is Cinema Film 1. That's one I pr uh, actually prefer. Um, leave it on Cinema Film 1. If you're doing a professional calibration, you're probably gonna go down to reference. Um, if you're in a brighter room, like let's say you've got a lot of ambient light, you may wanna use the Bright Cinema feature, but you've got some different presets that are available for you. Scrolling down to our reality creation, this harnesses the power of the X1 Ultimate processor for our projectors. And when you scroll through this, you've got the ability to, you know, look at the, res enhance the resolution. You've got the ability to uh, manipulate noise filtering. So you can turn that on or off. Um, you've also got uh, some other good adjustments under reality creation. Cinema Black Pro, uh, if you're wanting to make the image brighter, uh, this is where I recommend that you go first is to the Cinema Black Pro setting. Uh, in the Cinema Black Pro, uh, Pro menu, you're gonna see laser light setting and dynamic HDR enhancer. You can choose either high, middle, or low for the dynamic HDR enhancer based on your source content. But the laser light setting, you can adjust the output of the laser. So right now it's set to max, uh, default out of the box, um, or you know a lot of the settings that people prefer are at 80. Um, so, but if you want your image to pop and you really want to elevate those, those bright highlights, um, you can turn on the uh, output to max. Dynamic control, you've got full or limited. Uh, this is the ability for the laser to um, use its uh, full brightness or if you want to tone that back and, and put it into limited mode. So uh, with that, I'm going to back up and show you motion flow. Um, this is pretty self-explanatory too. This is for your faster scenes. If you want to smooth out the motion, you've got three different options between smooth high, smooth low, and true cinema. Um, I currently have that feature turned off. Um, contrast, when you adjust your contrast setting, um, this is adjusting your peak white. So I've currently got it set to 74 based on what I was using it on, um, but feel free to adjust that as you need to um, based on your setting. Brightness, uh, one misconception about brightness is that if you turn up the brightness, the picture is gonna get brighter. Um, brightness actually um, adjusts your black level. So be careful when adjusting this. Um, just, you know, if you want a brighter image, I would adjust your contrast, and then I would look at your Cinema Black Pro settings. Um, you've also got your color adjustments, your hue, color temperature, um, sharpness, and we've got our expert settings. This is where we can go in and we can also turn on uh, noise reduction. We've got smooth gradation uh, for smoothing out the edges of objects. Uh, color correction, if we wanted to use that feature. Uh, live color enhancer, this is a feature found only on the XW7000 projector. Um, but again, some, some other great features that you can use when adjusting your picture uh, presets. And then you've got your color temperature where you've got some other presets that you can choose from based on your source content, as well as some custom presets. Um, you've also got your screen, setup, function, and installation. Um, in another video, we'll be covering our panel alignment feature. Uh, this is also a great resource to use when adjusting your picture content. Okay, so these are just a few of many picture adjustments available on our 4K laser projectors. Remember, every projection install is different, so be sure to choose the best settings for your particular environment. As always, thank you for watching and be on the lookout for more CI-focused videos coming your way.